Hello and welcome to this, the second CD in MJTV's Actor Speaks series. This volume focuses on Elizabeth Sladen, who joins me in the studio today. Welcome, Liz. Thank you. Hi. Now, listeners will, of course, remember Liz as popular companion Sarah Jane Smith in the BBC's Doctor Who TV series. And that's where we kick off the CD, talking about whatever happened to Sarah Jane. So, Liz, do you give much thought about the character and what she's been up to? Well, I, I don't in everyday life, but I mean, when you're asking me and when I go to conventions, um, yes, you do. And you have to give relevant answers because people quite obviously, I think, know more about Sarah than I do. So I have to be very sharp about it and what I say. So do you think there's a difference between where you'd like her to be as a person, as, as an actress and where you think she should be dramatically, for example? Well, there are three roads I think you can take. Mm -hmm. um, if you... Imagine that she is a reality. She is real. Where would she be in real life as we think today? What would have happened to her in real life? There is also where I would like her to go, mm -hmm. where I would like her to have been, to have experienced things. And there is also dramatically where um, the writers would maybe have taken her because it might not be what I think be, would be very interesting. And of course, each, each writer or director producer is going to have different ideas on the character as well. Yes, they, they, they all, I suppose, want to, to bring something or try to bring something different different to the character, although, you know, you have to remember Doctor Who, well, you know, I don't have to tell you, it's very fluffy, it's very, it's an air ball. You put too much weight on it and it'll sink. Mm, definitely. Well, if we start with work, the area of work, Sarah was, of course, a journalist when she joined the series in Time Warrior and continued this career throughout her time with the Doctor, although it did become less apparent as time went on, didn't it? Yes, well, I don't think there are many journalists in space. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's much room for that. I quite like getting away from Earth. I, I love being in space. It, it gave me more imagination to play with, you mm -hmm. know, because who could contradict me? Yes. It, you know, did you find it tied though, her down being a journalist in the stories? It did a tad. And I always used to feel a little embarrassed when I was interviewed by journalists. <laughs> you know, they think I, you actually I just were. Didn't, yeah, well, I just felt, I, you know, hadn't really done the homework on that one because it wasn't needed. Mm. You know, so when they say, oh, she's a journalist, I used to think, yes, you're looking down your nose at me, aren't you? Um, not quite like that, but I, I did feel... Um, rather naked in that area. Mm. Um, I think if you think where she really could have ended up, if you imagine going round in the TARDIS with this super not human guy with two hearts, you're then taken back to Earth. I I'm sure you'd find it, after you'd recouped, you'd find it very difficult to pick up the pieces. Because, of course, she, she left the Doctor in Hand of Fear, which was in 1976, and we saw her then again in 1981 in the K-9 and Company spin-off. So it was mentioned then that she was still a journalist. So what do you think she did in those five years after leaving? Because that must have been the hardest time for her. I don't really think about those five years. I almost think about Sarah from the very beginning with the Doctor to now. But I suppose those five years, they may not have been the most crucial years. I think she would have had enough to write about then mm. to sort her brain out. There was Brendan to take on board. There mm. was Aunt Lavinia who was still around. And K-9 was sent down to her, wasn't it?